Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be talking about Star Wars The Force Awakens. Star Wars The Force Awakens has pretty much been everybody's most anticipated movie of the year and I went to a midnight screening of this so I didn't I I wasn't sure what to expect because I haven't I, I have watched trailers to this but I, I haven't gone as far as to just study them or go on fan theories of them and also I want to point out as well that I don't consider myself one of those what one of the people that's absolutely obsessed with Star Wars as a whole but I do love the original trilogy and I love movies and these those three movies in in my opinion are three of the most treasured movies in cinema history so of course I'm of course I'm going to have interest in how they follow this up and another thing I want to point out with this video is that this is strictly going to be a non-spoiler review. I am not going to re reveal any major plot details or I'm not even going to talk that much about the plot because I really don't need to. There's plenty of videos out there that talk in detail about plot and if you want that then there's plenty of better reviewers out there that can do that than me but I simply just want to tell you my thoughts and feelings about this film and talk about what made it work and why what I enjoyed about the film and you know some of the film's flaws and you know just things like that because that's 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 really all I feel I need to talk about I think Star Wars is an experience and I definitely recommend seeing this on the big screen for sure and so yeah let me say that my expectations of this film is that well more more what I wanted to see from this film really is that I wanted to see more iconic characters and the trailer do a great job of actually showing this right from the start and so I wanted to see more iconic characters and I want I wanted it to expand on 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 the world that uh, George Lucas created with the original trilogy and that that was what I wanted to see really I knew it would have a cliffhanger ending and it does but it 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 I but I really wanted this to be something that can be appreciated by itself as well and thankfully it does and it does all of these things very well in my opinion and I want to talk about I just quickly want to talk about the characters in this film because that's what you watch it for you want you know you want memorable characters in a Star Wars movie and this film in my opinion delivers that in spades and the first first of all some of the more interesting characters I think was Finn he he, he was the one in the trailer where he was the stormtrooper and he he, he realises what they're doing and he decides to turn against the First Order because of it and his character was probably probably the most one of the most interesting of the new characters because you you see you see some you see real growth to him right away as a person through this film and how you see how Kylo Ren's actions are affect him affect him deeply and I I really liked his character. I, th I thought that um, I thought that his back and forth with Han Solo was so fun to watch in this film as well, and I, I thought I thought they worked off of each other really well, and you know he was funny as well. So yeah, he was he was he was. I really liked his character and and Ray as well. Who was this? She was this female character that was. Um, that was a scavenger and she 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 was she's she's living in this ruined home world of Jakku I think it is and she she has to scavenge for food and you know she she scavenges loads of stuff and she 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 gets hardly any food for it and she eventually kind of grows as a character and you know she she you see that she has she has powers of the force and stuff so I, re I really liked her character a lot. I think that I think there's definitely some great potential there, and of course, how can I not mention that new droid BB-8? I th I thought that thing was friggin' adorable. I it it's like it has it it's like it has its own face, even though it doesn't. If if that makes sense, it's just I love that I love that character, and 
you know, of course, it does play on the nostalgia quite well with, um, you know, you see appearances from Princess Leia and Han Solo and, yeah, the C-3PO as well had a funny cameo in this. So, yeah, they, they play they play on the nostalgia well, but at the same time, they don't take over the plot and that's that was important to me because we all love these characters, but... I I much preferred to see I much prefer to see the new characters and what motivates them and you know I want I want to see I want to see the the depth being those characters because we all we all love Han Solo at the end of the day so and but yeah they they do that really well and oh yeah Chewbacca's in this film as well go you gotta love Chewbacca but yeah they 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 really do a good job with these new characters and of course from the villain side there's um there's there's Kylo Ren and oh he's just such a there's, there's such a great presence about this character every time he's on screen I I there's so much potential with this character with the sequels coming out and I I can't I can't wait to see where they go with this with this character I thought I thought he was really fun to watch and you know, he was an intimidating presence as well, which I like. And he's a very interesting villain. He's, he's compelling to watch, and I really can't wait to see what they do with him because they're going in the. They seem to be going in the direction where all of the films are focusing on this one villain, and I want. That's what I want to see. They're really making sure to to have a character that's that's memorable, and you know, you you're gonna you're going to remember this character basically, and I. I, I really liked I really liked Kylo Ren as a character and of course there there's um there there are a few characters though I feel are a bit un, underdeveloped. I uh, I wanted to see more of Poe, who was the um who was this pilot right at the start of the movie and he, he kind of had these Han Solo kind of back and forth with people as well, but you don't see enough of him unfortunately and Captain Phasma is it is she called? Um Well anyway I, I I thought she had a really cool design to her, but again, you you don't see much of her in this film. But again, there's sequels for that, and you know, so it's not really that big a deal. But yeah, it's a, it's a shame some of them don't have that much, don't have that much to them in this particular film. But J J Abrams basically creates a really beautiful stylistic movie, in my opinion, and. Every, the shots just look gorgeous. The world, the world looks gorgeous in this film, and I think the directing is really good from J. J. Abrams. And you know, he he brings in some really cool trademark shots where he'd have the camera facing down and stuff like that. And you know, the it, it's 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 it is a beautiful movie, and I'm I'm definitely happy with how it turned out and. It's definitely going to get multiple viewings from me, from sure, for sure. So, so my final rating for this movie then is a four out of five stars. I think that seems the most fair because I I think that um, I think that it was a really enjoyable movie to sit through, and I think that it's going to get multiple viewings from me. But at the same time, I do see flaws in it, and I feel I feel some things really do really do plot recycle from the from the previous trilogy but well from the first trilogy I mean the the original trilogy so that there is that aspect to it but I don't think that's going to bother too many people I think I think people are going to enjoy themselves watching this movie and I definitely recommend seeing it on big screen and I saw this in 3D as well and it's it, it's it's a beautiful movie to watch in 3D and it, it's it's not too it's not too jarring to watch or too overused or too gimmicky in that respect. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review and if you have any comments feel free to do so, but if you but if it, if you have any spoilers be sure to mark it down because if you don't I'm removing the comment. So if you enjoyed this video please remember to subscribe and comment and I'll see you on the next video.